Welcome to another Fountain Pen Day review. Today's review is going to be the Delta Dolce Vita medium sized. This is not the uh, piston filler, but this is going to be the cartridge filler. Um, powder box, bright orange, which is what this pen really is all about. Uh, excuse me. Very nice presentation box. Um, that brochure shows you the other pens that are in the series. Uh, there's ballpoint pens <clears throat> as well as other sized fountain pens. Uh, there is a piston filler, larger size, very nice. Um, but that's a brochure you get. What's inside the box? Okay. Inside, warranty card, Delta, the original. Um, this is for the nib, uh, stating that it's 18 karat gold. Cartridges. Uh, it takes the small ones, obviously. But you do get a few of these. I've never used them, but you do get some with it. Okay, enough of that. And out comes the pen. Well, the inside of the box is very nice. Before we get to that. Um, it's like the fake leather or suede in the back. And sits in really nice velour. So it does travel well. The pen. Pen, beautiful. Um, very well known. Certainly stands out. Even in my inky hands, sorry. <clears throat> uh, nice deep black, highly polished resin with silver accents. And it is sterling silver. Uh, the trim ring right here is actually sterling silver. Um, the clip is a rollerball clip. Sorry, I'm getting, having focus issues here. I thought I worked this out before. Um, which is nice when you put it in your pocket, it actually will uh, will roll across. There we go. See, it's like a little wheel, so it spins. Um, all right, let's start with the top of the cap. The top of the cap has the Delta Vita, uh, the De sorry, Delta Vita, the Delta logo embossed. It's really nice in the, in the metal. Um, and again, you have the uh, clip. It's nice and tight. It's not too tight, though. I mean, it, it pulls away pretty easily, but yet it stays nice and secure. And again, the rollerball, should you put it in your pocket, it should slide in really nice. I've only done it a couple of times just to practice. I've never, I've never taken this pen out. Then um, the trim ring is done really, really nice. Very nice. Again, it's that, that part is sterling silver, and it's marked as such right there. Shot of the cap inside. It's very nice. Very hard resin too. And it certainly I mean it shows fingerprints under the lights, but that's just, it's such a high polish to it. Uh, it's got the engraving Delta the Ultra Vita. And down here it's just a uh, I guess a serial number and then it says Italy. As far as I know, those numbers aren't traceable. I mean, you can't look them up and see, like, when it was made or anything like that. I mean, I don't think it goes beyond that. Um, the pen. Beautiful, deep orange resin. Um, they call it, like, a, a mother of pearl resin, and I guess because of the, uh, the coloring in the resin itself. Uh, each one of these, they say, is hand-turned. Really nice bright, brilliant orange. I mean, there is no mistaking this pen from a mile away. The uh, grip section is also done in the same the same resin as the cap. And the nib. This one is a um, is a fine, a hard fine. You'll see when I when I write with it that uh, it does not it doesn't give much at all, if if even anything. Uh, it's got the logo in it. There we go. Uh, it's marked on the side. Fine. Nice feed. Um, yeah, this one, it is a plastic feed. And it does feed well. 
I'm going to give you a little surprise when we do the writing, uh, the writing sample. Uh, it's pressure fit, so it comes right out. And really nice. The grip section is fairly large, though. I mean, I have big hands, obviously, but um, you can see that, uh, and I'll, I'll do a comparison, but it's got a, a good size grip section. But the length isn't too bad. I mean, I can write with it posted or unposted. Um, this one, honestly, you gen I'll write with it posted sometimes. It just depends on my mood. Uh, the cap does stay steady and sturdy, but I always fear that the uh, the top resin here would get scratched. It hasn't yet, again, because I don't post it that much, but that's always been my fear with uh, with posting any pen, you know, is that you'll scratch that back end. Sorry, I don't know why it's unfocusing tonight. Not cooperating. Oh, there we go. Uh, and then there's another trim ring at the back end as well. <clears throat> Again, this is a uh, standard converter inside. Um, though a very nice converter, Deltas all, all come with really nice converters. Uh, before I get to that, the inside, where it screws in, it actually has a middle insert. And uh, if I hold this up to the light, you can see it's got some, it's definitely got some translucency to it. I know people have made these into eyedroppers, and uh, you can see it inside here, and it actually darkens the, the resin quite a bit. There's a thread on that on Fountain Pen Network. All right. Converter, again, it's a standard Delta converter. Very nice. I mean, these are great. They work really smooth. Um, no problems at all. And as with many of the Deltas, this one actually screws in, which I like. I mean, you know that, it, that it's sitting in there how it should be. Easy to service, easy to clean, easy to take apart. Um, this one, this collar, sorry, I came off camera. This collar does turn. All right, so this this is one of the uh, converters that you can disassemble completely to service it, which is nice. I like that. I like the fact that you can take it completely apart and strip it down if you if you want to, and if you're fanatical. So. This time we're gonna we'll ink this up and we'll see just how she writes. So I'll get you one last shot of that nib and try and be as close as I can. Again, this is an 18 carat. It is a uh, a fine, and it writes beautifully. I mean, it starts up every time flawlessly, never a skip. Great pen to put away for a while and just take out and start writing with. And again, when I do the writing sample, I'll give you guys a, a size comparison with it. Nice. We'll weigh it out, and uh, you'll see. Very nice pen. Beautiful. Very standout-ish, though. I mean, this, like I said, this pen does not sit quietly on your desk. If somebody walks in or you roll, pull it out at a meeting, people are going to notice, so beware. Okay, we're back. Um, let's start by weighing this out and give you an idea of the weight we're talking about with this. Again, this is uh, weighing it in grams. 32.9 capped again and this is uninked 11 grams for the cap and the pen when it stops rolling away 22 grams so it's not too heavy but again the um, like I said the barrel is the only part you need to you need to get used to it if you don't have a, a larger barrel I'll show you a comparison quickly um, I might as well do it now. That's your Delta Dolce Vita Medium. For comparison, uh, here's the new wall Eversharp Skyliner 50. Stands out nice and bright. And to make sure they're all even. Here we go. Here's a uh, the Mont Blanc 146. Move the camera up so we can get a good overhead shot. And. Here we go. I have Visconti Homo Sapiens. So you can see that it's kind of stout. I mean, it's it's definitely got more girth than the rest of them. Um, I guess I'll show you. This will be a comparison. The Mont Blanc has a about the ideal grip section for me. The way you know it posts, the way you hold it, the way it posts. 
<laughs> so you can see uh, in this shot the difference in it. I mean, it's certainly not a small rip section at all. But it's also not ridiculously oversized. Um, I've had heard people compare it to the Mont Blanc 149. I don't have one, so I can't say that. You know, it's just what they have compared it to. Uh, it's certainly not uncomfortable in any way, shape, or form. That I can tell you. So, enough of that. Let's ink it up. We're going to use the Ackerman Brown, the one I can't pronounce. A little flip. All right, standard converter. I think another reason people use it for the eyedropper, and I'm sure if I said this before, but is the, uh, the threading is very long in this, like, meaning you turn it quite a few times before it seals up against that. So, you know, just a little bit of silicone in there, and uh, this would certainly hold a lot of ink, a lot of ink in there. I know uh, Stephen Brown uses his, uh, his as a uh, eyedropper. So anyways, in... Give it a quick fill. Love these ink bottles. So easy, just turn them over and it's a fill right to the right to the top for you every time. All right. Always cap the ink. All right. Let's give the pen a wipe down. And today we use, I think, which is one of the last pages of my. Fontaine pad. All right, let's see if we can get some of the shadowing out of here. Okay. All right. Quick still shot of that nib. Very nice. One thing you'll notice uh, as I as I write with this that I, that I do notice is that it sounds noisy or scratchy, but it. The last thing this nib is, is scratchy at all. I mean, it is as smooth a fine as I've, I've ever tried. It just, it, it's also because the microphone is, is picking up the noise a lot more. If I write quick, it sounds loud. It's a little loud, but, you know, when you're just writing normal, a little loud but you know we're sitting in a quiet room and the microphone is sitting right on top of the nib but again the most important thing is is how nice and smooth it is flex there just it, there just isn't I mean you can when you push it I mean you get a tiny bit of variation you know I mean and I'm probably pushing it more than I should you'll see the wetness ink definitely increases on the uh, on the ink but you know, if I really, like I said, I'm pushing it further than I, than I feel comfortable, especially on an 18 karat nib. This is not some steel nib that's easily replaced. These nibs are not cheap. Bend one, uh, flex one too much, you know, you spring it. It's, it's not, uh, it's not fun. You're going to be looking for a nib meister to definitely take care of it because replacements are very, very, very expensive. Um, but for journal writing, note taking, whatever you may use it for on an everyday basis, this is really a great pen. I'm sorry, but my handwriting is even worse than usual because this camera in your face is very difficult. You can see something like this. It's very nice. It's nice, even flow. I got a little line variation here, but again, I pulled straight down on it and, and pushed it. And you can just see it's. It's. I don't know if it's more that this. If it's because there's more ink flowing out and it's just giving it uh, a thicker line because of that, the saturation. It could be. Um, either way, really a beautiful pen. And again, my last my last words to you will be: <laughs> If you're trying to stay quiet about having a fountain pen at a meeting. This would not be the one to bring, because this stands out from a mile away. Beautiful pen, beautiful workmanship, everything about it.
right to the top of the cap. Really well done. Of course, it's not going to focus at the end. But... And again, I thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy the review. Yeah.